Uh, you know, I just did a, a promotion with The Rock, you know, last Friday for Netflix, for biggest movie that Netflix has ever done. And because of The Rock's schedule, we were like, oh, well, we're just gonna work through lunch. We'll just work through lunch more and more and more. And that's the big thing. Like now, at this point, especially post-pandemic, we're working through lunch constantly. a show this year that was 12 million dollars an episode for a company where the uh, CEO just went to space and we were working 16 hour days and we were scheduled not to have any lunches for a six month show. That's the reality. So there is something in Hollywood called the line. Below the line are all the people who are the technicians, your makeup artists, your costumers, your hair artists, your sound people, your camera people, your grips, your electric. You're crafty, you're catering, they're all below the line members. And that means that they get a significantly lower pay scale. That doesn't compare to, say, the above the line individuals who often start in the hundreds of dollars an hour or are salaried for millions of dollars for a project. We've had multiple people get in car accidents and some have died in car crashes on the way home from being overworked and not getting enough sleep because the turnaround times are so quick. That's more dangerous than when we're doing explosions on set or filming on top of buildings or filming underwater or on boats or doing helicopter stunts, you know. It's more dangerous that we don't ever break and that we have to drive home at the end of the day. We take one break at six hours on the contracts that our unions negotiated long ago. They're trying not to actually have us break because for them, if they don't break us for lunch, they pay a meal penalty. Those meal penalties haven't been updated since the mid 80s, so for them it's pennies. They can make us work 10 hours, 11 hours straight and pay four to five meal penalties, but it doesn't affect them at the end of the day when it's Amazon and the show has a $300 million budget. So we'll work 16, 17 hours straight without breaking. You know, we work what's called a fratter day, which is when you go into work at 2 p.m. on a Friday and then you work until 6, 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning. And I'm usually the first and last <clears throat> to work. And it's happened where I just, without telling anybody, I fell asleep on the fitting room couch. You have people like your camera operators or boom operators or script coordinators who they have to be stuck in the room while you're filming. So they would actually never get a chance to walk away to eat their food or drink water or have a bathroom break. And those are things that we just can't stand for. services first decided to start making their own content. Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, they were considered new on the scene. So they fought for a contract where they would have to spend less money on crew in order to have a new media production. Uh, at this point, all of those companies are the biggest players in the game. They are the biggest studios. They have plenty of money to be able to spend on budgets that are massive enough to afford whatever they want. We, we see the big companies producing big budget uh, projects and we know that they're popular, they're selling and they're, people are watching it, but our crew who's working on those projects are getting paid like five to nearly ten dollars less an hour just because it's new media. Once we shut down, very skilled, talented workers are going to exit the workforce and you're not gonna be able to make these shows. Uh, I'm prepared to strike because in the years I've been out here, I've only seen the conditions on set grow worse. I've, in the past, I've worked on a lot of superhero movies, and what I would like to tell everybody about these superhero movies is everyone behind the camera are often the real superheroes. We're ready to strike to fight for a safer working condition and fair wage and just the longevity of our careers. We, we love what we do and we want to keep doing it but not hurt ourselves and have to exit the workforce early because of it. Mm -hmm.